that's the thought they've got to take into this game. Enjoy, if you can. We'll hear plenty more from the guys a little bit later. Time now to join our commentary team here at Wembley Stadium. Gary Neville, and first, good afternoon to Martin Tyler. Well, good afternoon to you, Simon, and to all of you watching. Rarely have two finalists arrived at Wembley with such contrasting preparations. Manchester United's fourth of four cup games in ten days in three different competitions. Southampton haven't played for over two weeks and have been able to factor in a break in Spain. Guest of honour, Simon Milton, representing prostate cancer, the official charity partner of the EFL. Simon, of course, a former Ipswich Town player and is uh, very much engaged in fundraising for this worthy cause. Well, he's having a look at it. No more than that. The same applies to Zlatan as well. For you, David De Gea, back in goal, he sat out the last three United games. Antonio Valencia, a winner here with United seven years ago in this competition. It's Marcus Rojo who edges out Daly Blint at left-back. And Herrera in midfield, back after European suspension in midweek. A match in which Henrik Mkhitaryan got injured and misses out. Jesse Lingard, something of a Wembley specialist, last year comes in. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic started his United career with a Wembley winner in the Community Shield in August, shortly followed by two against Southampton in the Premier League. Southampton have really known their team since the 4-0 win at Sunderland 15 days ago. Fraser Forster has Wembley experience with England. So too the left-back Ryan Bertrand, England's under-21 Jack Stevens and Japan's Maya Yoshida striving to make sure that the loss of Van Dijk and the sale of Font are not factors today. A switch to two holding midfield players worked well at Sunderland with Stephen Davis tucked in alongside Oriol Romeo. That allows Dusan Tadic to play more centrally, that's his preferred position. And now he's behind Manolo Gabbiadini. Three goals in two games for the Saints so far, a short career but a spectacular one. It's his League Cup debut today. Wayne Rooney does make the United bench. And for Southampton, free agent Uruguayan defender Martin Cáceres is involved with the club for the first time. A man for this type of occasion, Gary? Yeah, absolutely. He's been absolutely fantastic for Manchester United. 24 goals in all competitions. And I was amazed. I think it says a lot about him that he travelled to St Etienne in midweek. He would have thought he'd been someone that had been rested. He wasn't. He wants to play every single game. And Matt Letizia mentioned about how big... And the win at Liverpool because it is closer to the usual red and white stripe. So it's very much a, a red and white day here at Wembley as we're underway. The first header for Antonio Valencia. As we look at that replay, but it was a uh, changed team and his uh, relatively short tenure at the club. Pogba. Ibrahimovic. Back for Pogba. They really are on the same wavelength, those two. He refused Mata's run. Zlatan Ibrahimovic refused Mata's run there. Turns that one down and plays it inside towards Pogba. Southampton's weakness. Stop those balls getting in there. And it's come into Martial. Might get back. But back from Lingard. Ibrahimovic chases this and a little bit of a delayed reaction. But Forster was always going to get there first, I think. An interesting thing is that. I told him this morning. A strong feeling that Michael Carrick would start. Couldn't get the nod in the end. And a chance for handball and eventually the referee. <laughs> right hand side. Lingard hasn't really gone out there to yeah. fill that space. Just get to this one. And in Southampton just plugged a gap that was happening to open up rather dangerously. From their perspective, but here's Martial, and maybe more dangerous, and then there are quite a few others, yeah. and the dimensions of it, even not taking into account the emotional stress yeah. of the final. That's 
where Manchester United do have the edge in big game experience. And maybe a, a big game free kick here from the big man. And Pogba having hit a decent shot already, He's not ruling himself out. But it is Ibrahimovic. Oh. Talk about the man for the occasion. They haven't really been in it, Manchester United. But they lead. He has done it again. His 25th goal of this extraordinary first season in English football. Very late in his career. Yeah, he's a monster of a character. He's not an Ibrahimovic. And it's a moment of magic. I have to say, I think Fraser Forster, I've got to be critical of him. I think he should save it. It's a brilliant free kick, but it's about a yard inside the post. He's slow to take off. It's a long way out. But it's brilliant from Ibrahimovic. It really is. And he knew that he'd have an impact in this game. Here's Tadic. Just reached by uh, Smalling, who gets it away. Only George Easton. For Stoke back in 1972, has been an older goal scorer in a League Cup final than 35 year old Zlatan Ibrahimovic. 35 and 146 days, a couple of weeks. Passing of time does not diminish the skills. It is, of course, the first goal that Southampton have conceded in the competition this season. Tottenham got to the final. Back in the early 1980s, without conceding in the earlier rounds, but lost 3 1 in the big day to Liverpool. Put out by Yoshida. Yeah, he did well, just a little too obvious from Jesse Lingard. Yoshida wins the header against Ibrahimovic. But, uh, had a crack, and in the end, uh, he smothered out of it. There was just half a, a moment when he got it onto his left side. See a, a way through to goal. Here comes out again. United have uh, plenty back in their own penalty area, leaving Ibrahimovic a bit isolated. Not an easy one. The linesman, even though he does get it wrong. Good pressure by Pogba. Ibrahimovic he has a look round over his shoulder, an old-fashioned look at the officials, but uh, doesn't get any response. Not the response that he wanted. World Pre Should Tadic, but it dips in front of the goalkeeper. Pogba's got to do better, be aware of what's behind him. Ibrahimovic is down at the moment. Elbow in the back. And he goes out short again. It's whipped in. Oh, Rashida was just waiting to knock that into the net. And uh, put in hesitation all round. It was, it was almost like time stood still. What happened? So uh, Stevens round the back. Yeah. Appealing for offside with Rojo. Martial over to turn and recognising the possibilities. In for Ibrahimovic. And Martial again. Followed his pass. Throughout Valencia. Final. Pogba uh, played that kind of pass for Ibrahimovic at Blackburn last Sunday. Not this time. It's a free kick to Southampton. And Ibrahimovic and, uh, the ball in both penalty areas does a defensive job. Previous League Cup final back in 1979, he also won it four times. Bye. Pogba lost two with the turn. Mata.
to going ahead of the thread in front of the uh, home fans who haven't been able to back the team here at Wembley. I don't think he'll be thinking that just yet with how Southampton play, but I'd be delighted that he's going to be 2-0 up. Yeah, a competition that's averaged three goals a game from its early rounds to the final. He wasn't disappointed on the big day in that respect. And it should have been put in between that and Ibrahimovic here to trademark free kick. He doesn't need to make this challenge. He's going nowhere, gives away the free kick outside the box. And when you've got players like Ibrahimovic, you, you are really taking a risk. And I, I think you can blame the keeper, yes, but I, I love this free kick. And the reason why is I've highlighted Stephen Davis there. He's the smallest player on the Southampton team. And there's no doubt at all, Ibrahimovic, he's looked at that and thought, if I can get that ball just over his head, dip in, mm. it goes in. It comes in at real pace. Yes, the keeper doesn't move very well. But I was always... still fuming about that one. Zlatan Ibrahimovic scored his 25th of the season with that free kick. Lingard, he simply loves Wembley Stadium. Receiving encouragement for Southampton so far. Let's rejoin Gary Neville and Martin Tyler for the second half. Thank you, Simon. A lot of talk about Michael Carrick starting this final, but he's going to start the second half. And uh, some sympathy for Juan Mata, who's had to go back to Spain in return for this final because of a family bereavement. Frenchman, oh, centre-backs, Stevens and Yoshida to go forward. So, uh, I'll swing this in this time. Go towards the near post and line, Yoshida to land it back into a dangerous area. It's heavily worked by the Saints. Budinovic, they look a little bit dejected at the moment, but they've got 40 minutes. Manchester United showing signs that they've uh, cleared their heads mm. from the uh, and the FA Cup final. With a shock in that, but he did. Wigan won it. Here's uh, Ibrahimovic. Taking too long, strong work by Romeo. I think had a bit of influence in Southampton's decision to uh, bring him into the Premier League. and. Uh, the EFL Cup. Forster made a mistake here. And is he going to be able to make up for it? At the moment, just not totally yet. Keeper are still hoping that this doesn't lead to a third Manchester United goal. Valencia and Popa. Valencia are confusing each other. What are they doing? There's Ibrahimovic, who does know what he's doing, cleared by uh, Romeo. It's Martial. Games every three or four days. You have to dig deep. But fortunately, he had his own luck by Yoshida. Yeah. Romeo's free at the back. Oh, he's picking him up. That's towards him. Do for Zlatan Ibrahimovic, at least it gives Pogba. Tarek. Rooney uh, is lined up to come on. But, uh, I think it might be Marcus Rashford as you predicted. Uh, it doesn't surprise me, I think it will be Rashford for Lingard. Pogba looking for that connection with Ibrahimovic again. Foul. Is he going to fool him this time? It should make him think he's going to go over the wall and then go in the same corner. The goalkeeper stood in this position. Goes into the wall. Oh, he makes a mess of it. There's Lingard. Stopped aside by Yoshida, but Pogba's got it back. They're getting a little scrappier. Brilliant from Ibrahimovic. Again, it's the access between him and the Frenchman. Paul Pogba. Back his way through Pogba. Kept on going, and this was fantastic. And that's what I mean. At times, it's muck and nettles going on. Signing that Claude Puel put into place. Ibrahimovic just there. Away momentarily from Stevens. Yet looking a bit more isolated in the shape of the game over the last 10 minutes. Here's uh, Valencia. 
It's offside, Ibrahimovic given offside. Yeah, he just last two or three minutes and press forward. It will be the period in the game where Southampton, the energy they put in, the space will certainly play a part. Strong of mind as well as strength. Pogba. And Davis. On the way to Martial. Stevens, Carrick, Ibrahimovic just held the line well, looking across it to stay on side. And he reversed it for Rashford. And again, that match from United. It's the power that caused us with the uh, force of the problem. First onto the scene last February. Total unknown outside Old Trafford. Ibrahimovic and that's gone. He wanted a touch on the ball from one of his players. Yeah, across the players weren't really uh, so earnest in the penalty appeals. They want to attack the corner here. And it was uh, Stevens who put it, headed it goalwards. Ibrahimovic defended. Got so many first contacts, Southampton. Yeah, Tatan there again. Smalling. Oh, and uh, now Ibrahimovic has got Rashford for company. A young man with a Midas touch. Ibrahimovic, Carrick, Southampton a bit stretched. Martial fires it out to Ander Herrera. Ibrahimovic! United lead with four minutes to go. talked about crosses at the other end, about how Southampton's delivery has been fantastic, but it's a cross from Ander Herrera, and you could see it coming from seconds before, he was there alone, the main man in the middle of the box, and he isn't going to miss that, and he's given his team an incredible chance, it's past Forster, the pace beats him, and Wayne Rooney jumps up with the rest of those Manchester United fans behind him, he may or may not be coming on now. Dejected, gutted, those two centre-backs. Heartbreak for Southampton. But, uh, delirium for Manchester United. Who have taken their chances. Especially him. Without him, what would their season have been? Well, 26 goals. Now, it's not Rooney, it's Fellaini now. No, it's Fellaini for set pieces. I have to say, Ibrahimovic, a beacon on the pitch, off the pitch, in the dressing room, everything. What a professional and heartbreak at the moment, but there's still time. There's still time.
week or two on for United with the Southampton set up as they are now. But Ibrahimovic has stepped out of that when he could have taken an easier option, maybe. And said he's walked into that Manchester United dressing room. You know how difficult that is to exist, even for talented players. He's gone in there and he said, I am the man, and I'm going to show you game in, game out that I am the man. And he's done it again. Well, he's got guts and character and personality, and he fills that shirt well. And it's what that club, it's what the team needed after three years that have been tough. But he's there in the middle of the goal, gaping. And a shot from Bertrand, asking for handball. And he hit it well, Bertrand. Jose Mourinho has had the like of Sir Drogba and Diego Costa. And only before that, it would be a free kick. United should have used up more time, which is uh, a commodity that Southampton can't deal in at the moment. Time. And, uh, well, shades of that final, of course, France and uh, Portugal. And the Euro said it was on the, uh, the right end of that, but the wrong end today. Uh, the Southampton have given yeah. a wonderful account of themselves. They have, they've been fantastic. They really have. But they've conceded three goals. Neil Root, the mistakes. Perhaps is in concentration that in finals you pay for because the team couldn't have played any better. And it's the moments that have beaten them. It's Ibrahimovic who has beaten them. His day, a fifth league cup for Manchester United. A four for Jose Mourinho, who will be full of respect for what the opposition put before him and his players. A 44th major trophy for the club from Old Trafford. Southampton came here, and he'll down a Gabbiadini struck twice, but a two from Ibrahimovic in the end, the deciding factor. The Saints' not rigorous schedule of fixtures has put the steel into Manchester United. The two formed well. But he... What a player, what an example. When you think about two-day recoveries, you think about rest, you think Saint-Etienne in a game that was dead in midweek, he travelled over, he played. At his age, he doesn't need rest, he just wants to play football. He still kept that spirit that you should have as a child, of wanting to play every single second, every single minute, and he grabs big games. The term world-class is thrown around a lot in football. But he's one that warrants it for his career and what he's achieved at such big clubs all around. Goals and today, none, you know, there's none bigger than today, and um, he's, he's won, us the, won us the cup. It's the first trophy, obviously, for the new manager. How important is it? It's massive. I don't think it's, it's hard to explain how big it is, but...